That was a cool montage, wasn't it? Once again, we're comparing the cruise ship to the Titanic, to the Britannic. Right, let's first check out the cruise ship. So this guy is packed with features. First off, all three of these ships are magnets. As you can see, everyone will come to your boat, whether it's a shark or random survivors. So the cruise ship actually has two ladders, one on each side. So if you somehow fall, you can get back up. However, so can everyone else. And in my opinion, that's a con. However, it's not a big issue when you're driving the boat, only when you're trying to explore. All right, it's infection and I want to show this boat's really cool feature which is the shark radar. As you can see, this radar pings the shark's location every few seconds with the red circle, as you can see. And first off, I just want to mention that all of these boats are really OP, and if you use them correctly, you will survive most of the rounds. Alright, so I want to explore this ship now. Obviously, I did the short montage, but I just wanted to show you a close-up of some of its coolest features. First off, we have two world maps here and just a bunch of controls. And throughout this whole ship, we have like a million paintings, most of them containing sharks. This one has a Titanic, which is really funny. Okay, maybe it's not a Titanic, but it looks similar enough. Yeah, and even more here, with a bunch of seats throughout the boat, as you can see. Right, so if we come over here, we can actually see that there is a pool. It's technically a fake pool because this is not real water. However, you can always just jump on a floaty. And we have these sun beds here as well. But I want to show you the slides. Look at this, these are actual functional water slides. Which is really cool. So this is basically like a modern cruise ship. It has every single feature a modern cruise ship should have. And the other two ships are actually historic ships. So as I said, someone already got on my boat. And he is enjoying the ladder, which is really funny. Though he's trying to steal my boat, and I'm not gonna let that happen. The top speed is actually 130 stats per second, which is even faster than a pyro tank. And for a boat this size, this is crazy. One other thing I wanted to mention is that this ship is like really bumpy. It has a decent handling for the size, but it's really really bumpy and really fun to use. I mean, you can see how bumpy it really is. Alright, so this board also has these trees here, and one of the coolest features of this board is that there's a dance floor with music and you can actually dance here. And we also have couches as well. We have two lifeboats. <laughs> yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Everyone just gets on your boat. It's really funny. I don't have no idea what that person is doing though. So those are actually just normal dinghy motorboats, which have a top speed of 100 stats per second. I wanted to mention that these lifeboats are actually fake, so these are just decoration basically. I also wanted to say that this boat has been in the game for like 10 months, so it's definitely a lot more common than the other two ships. However, this is still a really, really nice boat. This ship is really long, but the next two ships are even longer. So this one's shorter in length, but about the same in width. But yeah, what else could you want from a modern cruise ship? And so this is actually the maximum zoom, so you can almost see the full map. And it's more than enough for underwater shark hunting. Alright, so the next two ships, the Titanic and the Britannic, actually have the same model, but a few small differences. So if I click on this Britannic, you can see that the model is identical, it's just that the livery is different. But anyways, here is the Titanic, and first thing I can tell, the zoom is even bigger, which is absolutely just insane. This boat is extremely long, like very, very long. And so this is a real historic ship, it looks really realistic. And this boat doesn't actually have any ladders, so no one can get on it. This thing also has like a bunch of hidden seats throughout the whole ship. So one on this funnel, then we have on the nose, and a few other places as well. We have more classic benches, and this boat has four lifeboats. Two on this side, and two on the other side as well. And of course we have a grand staircase on this Titanic. So this is made out of wood essentially. And you can enter it from both floors. And then we have this long hallway, which is really sick. And throughout the whole ship, we actually have a few cool places to hide. It's so like this, for example. However, these ships are actually hollow, completely hollow. Also, it's infection. Let's see if I can survive. Should be able to do it, I think. All right, nice. Another small hiding space can be here on both sides. And I really like that. And on the rear of the boat, we have this flag. I'm not exactly sure what flag this is, but here we have the Titanic and Abracadabra riding, which is really, really nice. So here are the lifeboats, they're just white. So yeah, this is a really detailed ship. But yeah, to release the lifeboat, you just press E, and it'll go down. We also have staircases here, 
but yeah, let's now drive it. The top speed on this boat is also 130, just like the cruise ship. But again, it's way longer than it. Stupid iceberg. And this ship is actually way less bumpy. And that's the shark. Okay. What is going on? Are you guys seeing this? <laughs> what? Are those like hacks or is it like lagging? I've never seen that before. I've played this game for like 12 days as you can see and I have never seen anything like that. But yeah again these ships are hollow and there's someone inside of it. And so these lifeboats are actually based on the blue motorboats right here. And the titanic lifeboats go 95 stats per second. And of course the captain's seat is golden. Let's now move on to the britannic. So I mean it's the exact same size but as you can see I spawned between these two islands and it barely fits. So yeah you can imagine how big these are. So again this boat is a magnet. Everyone just comes to our boat including the shark. But the lifeboats actually have a different texture for the actual seats and they're actually 5 stats per second faster than the titanic's lifeboats as well as this normal version. Right let's check out the grand staircase. This time this is a marble material as you can see. And so on the ceiling we actually have the scene of the Sistine Chapel by Michelangelo but it's with a shark because this is shark bite. And yeah so we have the same hallway since it's the same model essentially. However this flag right here is actually different. So this is actually the UK's royal militaries a flag which was used at the time and I find that really cool because I'm someone who loves flags. And here we have a Britannic writing as well as a bracadabra. Alright so yeah the Britannic actually has all of the same features the Titanic has including all of the hidden seats and everything. It's just a different livery as well as the flag and stuff like that. And it's also 20,000 more than the Titanic and the cruise ship. And it is actually a limited item, which means this thing will be available for a few more weeks until February. Afterwards, it will go off sale and then you will be able to trade it. And I think this will be the most valuable off sale item ever. So yeah, absolutely make sure to get it. You still have time. But yeah, so this ship is actually the fastest out of the three. It goes 135 and the lifeboats go 100, unlike Titanic's 95. And yeah, so the handling is basically the same as the Titanic. I don't really see a difference. I've played around with these ships and I can confidently say that all of them are really really OP if you can use them properly. Okay and now I'm gonna put a picture up between the Titanic and the Britannic compared to the cruise ship. And as you can see these two ships are way longer. However these ships are hollow unlike the cruise ship. So overall I don't think it's a big difference. Oh hey thanks for the present. As I was saying I don't think it's a big difference. In terms of durability, yes these ships are longer but they're hollow. And I remember in Sharbite 1 the Titanic was just a complete tank. Which I don't think I can really say about these ships. But they're still really really powerful. And I mean 130 and 35 speed on such huge boats is just still it's insane. So these are just slightly slower than a snowmobile. So yeah you can almost reach the Santa by the way which is really funny. Absolutely make sure to get the Britannic. In my opinion stat wise it's the best out of the three just by pure numbers. However the cruise ship's shark radar is actually really really powerful. And funnily enough you can actually hunt the shark with these ships. And I mean as you can see I'm just driving backwards and the shark literally cannot reach me. Like literally there is the shark and it's been chasing me for like 40 seconds now. So yeah, crazily enough, the top speed is easily enough to outrun a great white. So it tried to cut me off and it's pretty easy because of how large the ship is. But then I just go forwards and it cannot do anything to me. So I mean if you want just to survive against most sharks, all of these boats are just really really good. But yeah, let's jump to the conclusion.
Alright, so in my opinion, you should definitely get the Britannic because it's a limited item. And by raw stats, it's actually the best out of the three. However, for shark hunting, I'd say the cruise ship is better because of its shark radar. Then again, I don't think you're using these ships to hunt sharks, but it's always nice to know where the shark is. And the cruise ship is actually a lot more fun in my opinion. It has a lot more features. So it's more of like, do you want a fun modern cruise ship or are you into history and want a really cool historic ship? Once the Britannic goes off sale, I still think that the cruise ship will be better than the Titanic. Although I'll say that the cruise ship is a lot more fun with a lot of people on it. So if you're going to solo it, it's not going to be as fun because some will just steal your boat. So yeah, personally, I don't mind choosing any one of them. And of course, let's not forget that the new Annex are actually really rare. Hopefully you enjoyed. I spent a long time making this video testing the ships then making the montage and then giving you all of this information in one video so i'd really appreciate if you could subscribe otherwise thanks for watching and i'll see you next time